and that thing's going on that we shouldn't really talk about. So we'll just call it Voldemort. I think we can forget this notion of the world going to hell in a handcart. I think it's going to hell in a shopping basket full of pasta and toilet roll. World's gone mad. And so before it does go into a final full-blown meltdown, I thought I would get out for at least one last photo shoot before we all get told that we have to stay in the house and stop breathing. So I've actually... So we've done one last check out my hair. People pay good money to look like this. I tried going shopping the other day, literally just for a couple of essentials for dinner, and there was nothing. Meat aisles, empty. Pasta, empty. Soup, empty. Fruit, packed to the rafters. No one cares about eating healthy. Even the bottled water has been completely ransacked. It's like, you're getting quarantined for 14 days. We're not entering a freaking six month long drought. I've got the wrong lenses for this. No doubt. I knew, like, I knew we were only coming away for a couple of days and obviously wanted to spend time with the family. So I didn't want to bring a huge amount of gear. So I bought the vlogging setup, of course. And I bought the a7 III, of course. But in terms of lenses, I figured the only thing I'd be doing was some landscapey stuff, which I kind of am. So I've packed the Tokina 20mm and the Irix 11mm, thinking I'd hopefully go over to Blackpool at some point, maybe get a shot under the pier, and maybe come over to the Mia here. But I forgot the rule that you don't have to use a wide angle lens for landscape shots. You can use longer telephoto lenses and I haven't bought any. And I can't now get close enough to the lake. There is a technical term for situations like this. It's bollocks. Yeah, I think I will go with this spot. There is potentially a hide or something over that corner of the Mia that might look a bit more down the lake, but then the clouds are looking quite heavy over directly in the east where the sun's supposed to be rising. There seems to be a gap over there. So I think for safety, I'm gonna stay here. Really regretting not bringing a longer lens. Well, actually really regretting not having a longer lens to bring because I sold the 100 to 400. <laughs> Well, that didn't work, so I've changed my mind. I'm gonna have a walk around the other side and see what's what. Just, well, firstly, the reeds look a bit shit. There's no decent foreground there, but also it's just too far away. But all is not lost. We might still get a chance to get a good photo. Who knows? Hello, have found a potential. We had a little bit of a break in the clouds. Like, this much of a break. I don't think it's gonna work, but we'll see. So yeah, not a particularly successful day. Kind of my own fault. Bought the wrong Kia. <laughs> uh, I think first thing this morning, if I'd had a 70 to 200 when I was like up first thing over the other side, the the lake was beautifully covered with mist it was quite nicely backlit and they've got the swans around on the lake and stuff so yeah a longer lens i'd have been sorted and i didn't bring it shot myself right in the foot with that i was going to say there's always next time but given the way that voldemort's going at the moment christ knows when that's going to be i do wonder if this outbreak's targeted at me because it pretty much kicked off the moment I said that I was going to endeavour to do more videos outside. And now it's turning the world into self-isolating and make everyone stay at home. 
You probably can't hear that. It sounds like a train leaving the station. Lions at the zoo. Blackpool Zoo's like, I don't know, a mile that way. And I can hear a lion go, That's my lion impression, that. I've even got the mane for it. That's not. For anyone documenting this, this is what a psychological breakdown looks like. Now, so far, the forecast for the rest of the day is it's going to stay something like this, I imagine, throughout the day. So I might try and get over into the town, onto the seafront, ready for sunset. <laughs> hey! We made it to Blackpool Seafront. I mean, admittedly, there's no sod here. We have a glorious sunset, although you're slightly too overexposed to see it, but trust me, it's there. Um, but I'm not really sure where to go. I'm hoping that I can get underneath the pier, but it is high tide. I can't see over the wall yet, so I don't know how close to the sea it's coming. So I'm just going to head down the promenade a little bit, um, and we'll see, hopefully. Fingers crossed, it's a little bit more successful than this morning. I might just put you down there, I hope you don't mind. I do enjoy a good 11 mil. Unfortunately, I want to do a long exposure as well. And obviously, you can't put filters on this. So, I'm going to employ my homemade 10 stop ND filter adapter. This could be crazy. I should really bring the camera with me, shouldn't I? Yes, where's my exposure calculator gone? I do hope, by the way, that you can actually hear me talking. I know it's a bit windy under here, seems how I'm basically in a wind tunnel. Hopefully you're hearing more than just as you see in my lips go. A minute, a minute's a good amount, I think. I am like the only person that I can see, seemingly in the whole of Blackpool. And I've no idea if that's because of coronavirus and everyone panicking, or whether it's because it's the UK seaside in the middle of March. So I've come to higher, drier ground, because as you can see, the sun's about to set and it's looking rather nice. Now I'm gonna try a reverse grad filter on this, but I'm conscious that the P is in the way. That ain't reverse. That's nice. Well, that's looking very nice, but you know me, I do like my long exposures. So. Unfortunately, I suspect I'm going to be up shit creek with this. 15 stops. Ugh. Typical. The only ND filter I've got that takes that is a 15 stop, and that's going to take about an hour to do. We can get it down to about five minutes. It's a bit more acceptable. Pro tip, however, because I'm full of those, uh, if you are going to do a long exposure with a 15-stop ND filter, turn your autofocus off first. Because I didn't. So, not a bad end to the day. It's kind of strange, really, wasn't it, considering the, the start of the day, 
12 hours ago i got up early went out to do sunset uh, sunrise photos that that was what i packed for to go and do sunrise photos got it completely wrong couldn't get as close as i wanted to to the water the environment just wasn't right at all and yet missed a golden opportunity with those swans and the misty water would have looked absolutely beautiful to just be able to pick out just those but i need a long lens like a 70 to 200 didn't pack it and yet here i am 12 hours later on the seafront taking sunset photos that at least on the back of the camera seem to be really really good and i couldn't have got those with a telephoto lens it was only because i had the wide angle lenses that i was able to get those shots a little bit strange really i think the basic conclusion from what i can gather from all this is that in order to be safe you should buy all the lenses on the market of every focal length and carry them with you at all times uh, you know that's what i'm here for really good buying advice so uh, but that's pretty much it for this video guys as always if you have any questions or queries or you have a suggestion of a video you would like to see leave them in the comment down below while you're down there if you haven't already please consider hitting the subscribe button and there is also a link to my patreon account and merch store if you'd like to go and support the channel through those thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully i will see you in the next video